Well then, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. How you all doing today? I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. You saw this in the first scene here on my intro. It's uh, banners. I think I got them through questing. Uh, Jaded Cat put in a few banners as a quest item. And I was just checking to see how it looked. And it looks kind of bulky really, but I like it. I like it still. I like it. I got four all together. And I just thought, you know what this blood magic altar needs? It needs some banners to liven it up a bit. And these are black banners, actually, but it's okay. You get ten seconds to place an icon. And there it is. Blood magic altar. Ba ba ba. I'll do other things, don't worry. I'll do other things to fancy stuff up in the future. But for now, that is it. Uh, yeah, I nearly uh, I nearly made the other demonic slate already. It takes 5,000 blood in the altar, though. So it's taken me a little bit of uh, self-sacrifice to build it up. Just to keep enough blood in there. But we've got a good supply at the minute. This uh, That over there is keeping a good supply for the mobs coming in. And it's taking a little bit here and there. Look, there you go. Taking a little bit. I don't know where exactly it's coming from, but there you go. That's that one. I want to upgrade this um, ritual stick. My, my ritual stick needs an upgrade. And uses of it. Uh, two dusk inscription and some demonic slate makes the ritual diviner of a higher level. Which means that I can place dusk runes without having to place dusk runes. And I just so happen to have... Two dusk over here from previously being made. And it looks like I'm actually ready to do something. Uh, okay, so it was two demonic slates. Two of these and my ritual thing to upgrade it. And that says, can place dusk runes. This one says, can not place dusk runes. This one, can place dusk runes. Awesome. Okay, so there's plenty of things that I want to do uh, but I still want to do that shepherd one and I've still got to do the ritual of binding uh, ritual of the shepherd that's it I can't remember how many it is so I bought 64 I should be okay with that uh, and I think it's a fairly flat one if I recall uh, I might just do it over here first just to test it out uh, I'm gonna need one of the master stones as well that'll be a good plan on it get a master stone I, I say that I'm prepared when in actual fact, I really am not prepared yet at all for this episode. But let's play. That's what it's all about, right? Let's play. Let's just play some Minecraft. And let's make it up as we go along. I've got no big projects today. No ex uh, expensive amounts of time. Uh, spent no, that doesn't really work. No a large amounts of time spent doing nothing in particular. Uh, uses... It's like a that, yeah, with the with the orb in the middle, uh, orb in the middle, those on the corners, and those in the middle. No, maybe it's another one then. Master stone, will that do it? Yeah, that'll do it. There we go. Okay, right, and I'm gonna need the activation crystal. Right, what I want to do to start off with then, now I'm all prepped up, is figure out the size of the ritual that I'm going to put in here on the floor. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's only a 5x5. Five five. I'm pretty sure the ritual of the shepherd is only a 5x5. Five five. It's already doing those ones. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get trapped in here, aren't I? Yeah. I am. I am trapped now. But it does seem like it's only a 5x5. Five five. That's it. Okay, so we've got 3, 3. Uh, you can just about see. We've got 3, 3, 3. Let's get this one out. Okay. And let's look at it from up here. I'm pretty sure that's okay. Yeah, it's all flat and level. That's good. So it's a 5x5 five five with the ritual stone in the center. So that works perfectly with my little mob farm there. Uh, it does mean that I can't have any sort of, like, um, sewers and things collecting the muck that the animals produce. If I put it on the highest level, uh, there is opportunity to put it a layer down underneath it, though. wonder how that would look. 
Uh, I'm going to have to go at it from inside it, aren't I? Okay, well, I don't think any mobs can come down right now. I changed up for fence posts. Uh, that looks like there was an Enderman spawned inside there, then. Did you see that? There might be just enough space for an Enderman to spawn. Uh, well, he's gone wherever he was, whatever he was. Okay. Uh, so... Could potentially put it underneath. Where? Oh, the blocks are all going into the the Zephyr ritual. Okay. Or I could put it so that it's on here. I don't think I'm that worried about the sewage from the mob spawners. I'm not really. I'm not really in the need of having a super efficient MFR farm up here, am I? I'm just doing this so that I've got a constant supply of leather. Um, it's just a farm for leather. It's not really a farm for all sorts of things. I've got so many ways of making things happen. So many ways of getting things. Uh, bop. Yeah. Okay, Ritual of the Shepherd. I think it's going to use up some LP every time I do it, isn't it? So let's have a quick check, make sure I've got plenty in. Uh, I haven't got the mob farm on at the minute because I knew I was going to do this and I didn't want the mo any chance of any mobs going the wrong way. Let's have a quick check. Uh, yeah, I've still got loads. So it didn't use any until activation. So I can put these back out again and rewrite this. Like a so. And that's that. Okay. And then... And then... Well, I'd like to put the grass back down again. But grass growing isn't going to work, is it? I could have just not taken them all out like that, couldn't I? Uh, let's put some... Tempted to just put cobble in. Let's put cobble in for now. Just to uh, sort it out like that. Now the ritual of the shepherd is supposed to make baby animals grow up big and strong like their daddies. So, <laughs> like their daddies. So, activate it. Yeah, okay. How much did that cost me? Oh, less than, uh, about 10,000. About 10,000, I think. That's not too bad. So now that's set up, I need to... Well, I need to go and get that fence that's been lost now. The Zephyr Ritual's got over here. Uh, I started putting a few blocks around here to start boxing it in a little bit. And thought, well, do I really want to? Do I really want to, though? Do you really want to? And then I decided not to bother. Because, well, I think I need to do a lot more testing and run it for a little while first. And then finalize it afterwards so let's switch these around so the mobs will come down this way yeah that will work and this also needs the thing taken out of the essence but I need to set up a mob farm first I want to set up uh, if this is just for leather and generating mob essence right the mob farms coming down and when it's not being used for XP or for blood it's used for more essence and the essence is then going to get taken across into this area over here into this next chunk this next module of my uh, sky block and probably make um, a mine factory reloaded spawner setup spawner grinder setup so when I've got the spawner grinder setup then I will need the juices to go flowing to feed it and all that kind of stuff but for right now that's good enough. Right now, though, that's uh, that's good enough that I can start letting these animals breed again. Because I've had these turned off for a little while. While dealing with the mob farm issues. Uh, yeah, let's see. So, have babies. Do the baby things. There's lots of breeding going on in there. That's good. Lots of XP. Yeah, you can, you can hit me all you want, but it's my XP. I'm going to have it. And then the babies go through into here. Yeah. That's good. And the babies should be receiving some more growth rate. Instead of like 20 minutes for the baby to mature, should take a fraction of that. Not sure exactly what fraction. Two minutes? Three minutes? Five minutes? I'm not sure. But we will see how the production value goes. We'll see how it goes. And hope for the best. Right now though. Let's have a little sleep and start thinking about doing quests. 
a few quests that we've been doing since the beginning and haven't finished yet because I just haven't collected them. I've been busy doing other things. Well, I'm not busy doing other things today. In fact, before I even start looking at that, I have done with blood magic for right now. For right now, I'm done with blood magic. I've been obsessing with blood magic and the mob farm. And we've come a long way in such a short time. I think I'm very pleased with it. In a similar way to I was very pleased with getting my big reactor and the ability to make more big reactors uh, and infinite power after the first couple of weeks. It was very good, very good. Right, but we've, we've neglected the whole quest book for a little while. And I've got 16 unclaimed quests here, just from stuff that I've been doing. Let's have a look. Uh, let's start from the bottom, Okay. Botania, Botanical Engineering. Seems to only have one quest. I sieved a bit of Podzel and I got something. I get the Lexica Botania and that and nothing else unlocks. So that's something that Jaded Cat will put in a bit later on. Thorncraft. There are a lot of things for Thorncraft in here. A lot of things. All starting with the Thormic beginning. Which means that we are going to have to do Thorncraft in Agrarian Skies in order to complete all of these cool things. I was I had a brief brainwave earlier today about getting golems uh, to transfer um, the stones into and out of the altar. Well, well, maybe that altar down there, so that as the mobs are sacrificing themselves to put blood in the altar, uh, that the golems would just sort of empty the altar out and fill it up. I'm sure there's, there's far more efficient ways, but I just thought it would look cool having little blood minions running around. They'd have to be clay ones as well. They'd have to be clay. Uh, but but I didn't. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get into Thorncraft, but not just yet. Mystical blood. Let's see what we've completed so far. So I've just made an imbued slate to get that, and I get another imbued slate. Awesome. Good, good. Um, <clears throat> they are not completed yet. These ones are the efficient sacrifice runes. We've got those and we get delving into darkness and a couple of blood runes for that. Trouble. Thank you. I did this altar emitter and I get a bit of redstone. Thank you very much. More network space. I increase the capacity and I get a superior capacity. Oh, we'll have to put that in quick as well. And then I did the bloodstones and I get some weak weak ones okay and I've done the ritual magic and I get some extra bits there as well awesome and I got the master's orb and I get a lucky bag okay so that's blood magic all the stuff taken that we've got to take um, I'm intrigued by a lot more things in blood magic I am intrigued by blood magic I can't believe I've put off playing blood magic through for such a long time I've been watching people play like I've said before I've been watching people play, and I've understood quite a bit. But a lot of little details, as you're probably aware from what's been derping through the episode so far, uh, a lot of little things have um, gone wrong. Okay. Superior capacity. There we go. So, so good. Okay, I need to go and get that rune, because that cost me a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of things in Blood Magic already and everything being new to me everything is still very very cool and once you get over the initial grinding out of a lot of the bits and pieces uh, once you've got past that stage it's really fun to be able to do some of these cool magical rituals and things just using the power of blood uh, and, and then being able to make a mob farm for the power of blood I've found it so entertaining and so interesting to do which is probably why I've spent so much time doing it. Uh, yeah, put the redstone ore in there for now. Uh, so we will be doing a load more blood magic. But I think you and I deserve a break from blood magic for a little bit. So I'm going to concentrate on doing some questing. Get some of these quest rewards sorted out. What have I got in there? Oh, let's take that out. Get some of these quests done and sorted. And see what else there is. Okay, so... Forgetting blood magic just for the now. Just for the now. There's some really cool bits and pieces that we'll go into. But just for the now, we'll just put blood magic to one side. Um, and see what we've got elsewhere. Mob Hunter. Oh, i got some bits. Claim the reward bag and get two more spawn blitzes. Okay. Zombies. I've been killing zombies like there's no tomorrow. Get an emerald. 
rainy zombie bash in, get an earth shard. That'll come in handy. Slimes, I've got four slime balls, but I got it from a slimy sapling, basically, so that's not too bad. And we got some other little bits and pieces. I can make punji sticks and things like that as well. Killing, no problem at all. I enjoy. I enjoy a bit of that. Storage wars, we've got the drum that I made for storing the blood. I get a potion of regen for that. Uh, the tank I made for taking the lava. I get sausage in bread. I get some sausage sandwiches. Lovely. I'm going to eat them sausages for my dindins right now because I have eaten so many baked potatoes. It is unbelievable. Oh, my word. Look at that for filling me up. Awesome. I can do some running around now. Okay, what have we got in the reward bags that we picked up then? Some monster jerky. More food, Vicar? More food? Thank you. And, um... Uh... Super Builder Wand. Oh. That would have probably made things a bit easier in building that. Oh, my word. It's typical, that, isn't it? Typical. Typical, 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 typical. Just when you think you've got everything under control, along comes something that would have made it all a bit easier. Uh, what else have we completed? We completed a couple of learning to sky blocks. Oh yeah, I made an eye of ender for something. Get an ender pill, thank you. And we've got our gas tier, we get that, thank you. And then we've got a few new dimensions to visit, which is cool. I've got to make a load of soap topiary grass, which I haven't been taking the leaves off the uh, spruce trees, which I should do. We've got these little charges and things for the workshop table. There's a few nice little bits and pieces in here that I could do. Uh, let's see see we've got we've got storage in a different way look the backpacks a gray backpack how do i get a gray backpack from the baggins mod and uh, did did do baggins is there we go uh silver gray 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 backpack so gray wool around that with some string okay so from the mob farm we have everything we need to make a gray backpack Thank you very much. And give me that brown backpack too. Awesome. And there was something else somewhere else as well. Was it learning to sky block or sky farm? Uh, yeah, there we go. Raw beef. Manual submit. There we go. And get a skillet and a spawn chicken. I will get the spawn chicken one, I guess. There we go. Awesome. And we're going back to the storage wars because I want to get some more of these things done. Different backpacks and things. But first of all, let's have a look see what we've got in here. Stores wood. Now, does it store all kinds of wood? Well, it stores slabs of wood. I'm guessing it'll store planks of wood as well. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So I've got a bag that stores wood for me, ready for crafting. And what's the grey one do? The grey one stores cloth. Cloth? Not string. It stores wool. Okay, that's cool. It stores wool. That's a good thing. But you can't put anything else in. It stored bone meal as well. In in it now. Bone meal and cloth. Wow. It's not cloth. Stores cloth. Really? Really? Stores wood. Stores. I understand stores wood, but stores cloth. Oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's throw this, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you get out of there? Thank you. You die. Did you come through here? I bet he come through here. Oh, yeah, look. Those, uh... Those cows did grow up pretty fast, didn't they? Uh, let's put... Ow! I'm trying to spawn another one of your people in here. Uh, let's go there. There it is. He's gone in. He's happy. That's good. Another breeder to the breeding stock. Breeding stock aplenty. Awesome. Throw those back in there now. That in there now. That in there now. And spawn chicken. I think I've got to do something special with the chickens, to be honest. I think I want to do something a little bit more special with the chickens. I want to put them on a hopper, at least, in a little trap somewhere. We can do that, though. All right. So, that's the baggins done. Uh, next up. 
What shall we make next? These pretty storage ones. These are pretty cool. I like these. Played around with these on the Age of Adventure a lot. Get okay, oak drawers. Okay. One, 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 one. Basically one of everything. Storage drawers. So let's have a look at storage drawers. Not compact storage. Uh, simply jetpacks. We ran that. Storage drawers. There we go. Okay. So get that wood out again. All right. And let's see what we can make here. So we needed a couple of oak drawers. We're going to need some more. Um, we're going to need a lot more wood, aren't we? We need some more of those first. Let's go. Boom. No? Why not? Because uh, I'm going off oak planks now. Okay. Let's get some oak planks. Boom. And it was something like this. Was it not? Yes, it was. Awesome. So we needed two of those. Let's do it that way. There we go. And we're going to need a couple of those. Which, this is going to cost me a ton in wood, isn't it? Yep, an absolute fortune in wood. Let's just make all of this into wood. Because this is going to cost me... Uh, let's take all nine. I'm sure I'm going to need them for other things. So we want two of them. Oh, we've already got two. Never mind. Get rid of that. And we're going to want two of them. We get four for our money there. Okay. And we're going to want two of them. Boom. Are they half slabs? Okay, yeah. So we make some more half slabs here. I'm always going to need more half slabs anyway, so let's get those. Clean that out. That one. Boom. No? Why not? Ah, because I haven't got any more chests. Okay, let's make another batch of chest. Boom. And that's the recipe over there. Okay. Chest, chest, chest. One, two. What is that looking like right now? That is badness. What is going on with that? Okay, we get two with that. Awesome. How far are we off now? We need to do that four compact draw one. Okay. Just the four compact draw left to do. That's that one. There we go. Get four of them. Awesome. And there we go. And we get rewarded with some more of those. Cool. Okay, so let's have a look at these. I'm going to place them down here because... Actually, shall I place them inside? I'm going to place them inside the house. Okay, so storage drawers. They can hold quite a few stacks of things. Let's put a storage drawer up there. So you can't put anything into it just by right-clicking it. You don't open it just by right-clicking it. But you can right-click something in it. In a very similar way to how you use barrels. And then you left-click it to take individual items out. Yeah, and I think it's shift, left-click to take everything out that you put in. Take them out a stack at a time. Yep, that's pretty cool. And then with the smaller drawers, let's do like two oak drawers here. You've basically got the same thing. So let's put uh, oak drawers in that one. And let's put the two times drawers in that one. So it's the same sort of thing, but you've got two actual fat drawers. And uh, I think the way it works is these hold smaller amounts of stacks. So like this is four stacks per drawer in these ones. And this is four stacks per drawer in these ones. But they're smaller amounts, you see. They're smaller looking drawers, which is cool. Whereas these big oak drawers, they hold 32 stacks, but only one item. Which is still pretty decent, isn't it? Yeah? Put those away in there. I like those. I like those a lot. And then there's a four compact drawer, like these ones, which allow us to put a lot of little items in. So I'm going to put that like that because there's a lot of things in here that I don't want to keep hold of all the time. That I want to just put away somewhere. Like, there's all of this stuff that we've got over here. So let's put the Thorncraft stuff away in there. As we get them, we can add to them in there. Like that. It's pretty cool. I like that mod. I do really like that mod. And there's upgrades as well, which are these things. Increases the storage to two times base value. Three times, five times, eight times, thirteen times. Uh, shows full storage. Shows fill level. Um, keeps associated items even when empty. Like locking it. Like with um, barrels. 
costs a little bit more than a shift right click though which barrels don't uh, upgrade template that's what you need to make these then presumably yeah upgrade templates so you can upgrade these drawers as well to make them better and I believe these just emit redstone signals when full and shows fill level or I don't know what that does but maybe we'll have cause to use them with the applied energistic system being around though these are just here for looking nice in the same way as I've been using barrels and those crafting grids and things to look nice I can use these storage drawers just to look nice I might be able to salvage some space over here though um, because I'm only going to get so many of these different saplings and I've got another little chest up here because there are 13 things you can get from soul sand so I might put a compact drawer in here instead of the tree saplings and have a compact drawer that it's being fed to however the refined relocation won't do that for me automatically I'll have to uh, move them manually somehow uh, but we'll see we'll see what we can do right i think we've done enough for another episode thank you very much for watching uh let me uh, jump into my atro literally jump into because i hit my spacebar and i will see you in the next episode of agrarian skies 2 thank you extremely for watching me play around with some quests today and do a little bit of a ritual with blood magic do a little bit of finishing touches uh, I'm going to get some more blood in that altar and get a few more bits and pieces ready. And hopefully we can do the Ritual of the Feathered Knife to finish off what I had planned to do for Blood Magic. And uh, go through the questing side of Blood Magic as well. Try and complete all the Blood Magic quests before moving on to anything else. Um, I also want to build a mob farm. <laughs> Not the same sort of mob farm the modded minecraft version the mine factory reloaded mob farm done them many times before but i'll do it very quickly i'll just get everything prepped up and do it very quickly on camera for next episode thank you very much i will see you then goodbye <laughs>